Hello everybody, this is Maniac for Bricks, and I am here today with set number 60078, Utility Shuttle from LEGO City. This is ages 5 to 12, has 155 pieces, includes two minifigures, and was released in 2015. This set retails in the United States for the price of $25. This has two numbered bags for building it efficiently. Let's take a closer look at the set now. So here we have a look at our two minifigures. These are both astronauts, and surprisingly, they're pretty much the same except for the heads. Between both of them, we have two different heads. They're standard LEGO City heads with no back printing. And as we look at them from the back, we'll get to see some of their back printing shows their logo. If you wanted to compare these to the last LEGO City space minifigures we've had, here is the, I dropped it. <clears throat> Here's the last one from the back printing where it doesn't show the logo, it shows more like the, the tanks involved. His logo is on the front and it is a different logo entirely, in fact. You can see a bit of difference there. The helmet for them is pretty much the same, which is good because it's a nice mold. So now we'll take a look at the utility shuttle. I don't know the exact use of this model in a space program, but if you know any better about it, I'd be happy to learn in the comments below. It's a very easy model to build, and in some ways that's good, in some ways I find that to be a little bit troublesome. The same canopy is used on here, as in the spaceport set, the larger spaceship model, in fact in one of the later sets from this theme. And if you haven't seen the review for that, you can also check that out on my channel. And that's not bad, it is good shaping and does have the shuttle design that most people would recognize. But, I'm not really fond of the middle section in comparison. It seems like too big of a scale for what much of a ship there is. Honestly, I'm not really sure, again, what its purpose is and if they are actually this size compared to regular shuttles. Usually the one, at least the one from the spaceport, we'll compare that later, but it's about twice the size in, in length. Now, as far as features for this one, I didn't put any stickers on, so you can see the printed parts on the outside. Just have this on the nose, and on the inside we have several printed pieces. We have several controls in the front and enough room to fit both of our astronauts a little bit comfortably. <laughs> I guess that would be the right word for it. Uh, you might be able to fit them with the wrench in there. You might have to change that around or put it in loosely, but they both can fit in here. And you could attach the levers into their hands as well. You can also open this from the sides. There are two hatches that you can open up to fully expose everything in the shuttle. And then the back of here is our satellite, which again, I didn't apply the stickers to, but we'll get to that a little later. So it easily folds out. Looks pretty good for a satellite model. Very nice and compact. Does have good color with it. Do like the little wings on the sides and does have these little clips in case you want to clip it on to maybe like a minifig to, to repair it, or you can use it for a robot arm in one of the other sets. Now personally, I've found this bracket piece back here to be a little bit troublesome. I don't really see there being much of a purpose to this. Uh, let me just fit this back on and I'll demonstrate. If you were to fit this back inside of here, straight in as it's supposed to go like this, it does give it a little bit of trouble. I mean, if you try to just fit it right in, well first of all, it's right at the same width, which is just enough to get the satellite in there. But having this in here is kind of kind of getting in the way of it and also it might also get in the way if you have the astronaut too close to the back section it gives a little bit more room but I don't really see a purpose to this perhaps the purpose is for when this closes up and it creates a square shape and doesn't keep leaning over but I'm not really sure if it needs that now from the back you can see we have some thrusters which are nice a little bit of color there but and that's okay I think it still matches with the ship you have these fins that can move up and down, and even the wing ends can move from side to side. Not really sure, again, on the entirety of how it would move. You can see the astronaut pilot in there, and there's a look at it from the underside. Not really great, but flat enough. I guess it works well. 
So now we've applied all the stickers onto the ship, just to see if it gives a little bit more detail or more creativity to the model. And I'd say in this case, it actually does look a little bit nicer. It has a lot, most of them are involving the logos. We have stickers on each side of these wings. There is enough room on the wings to fit the entire circle logo of the sticker. And they do have some good color with it. I also like how it comes around on the front with this piece. You can see it's kind of a triangular shape the way it glares. So it does match up well with the nose and the, the whole canopy section, that one piece. And it also lines up with the red, white, and black that's on the ship itself. That's, that's a good idea. They also have two of the stickers on the 2x4 tiles on the back. I think they're okay. You could leave them off and still you'd get a good effect on them. There's no big urgency for them. It's just a little bit extra detail. Um, you could even leave them off on the wings too. It's not too big of a deal except for just identifying the spaceship's designer or not designer, the, the space program that it's based on in the LEGO world. Now when we open this up and see the satellite, I actually made a mistake earlier when I tried to put this in. They encourage in the instructions that you fit the satellite with the wings facing here and here, not the way I had it before where it's facing here and here. It has enough room for both ways, but it is a little bit more troublesome in this second way like you see now. That's what I was showing earlier and I uh, made a little mistake with that, but now at least you know it can go both ways. You also do have some printing tiles under there, same ones as in the cockpit. So when we open this up again, you get to see the two stickers on those modified tiles. They actually look very good. They do represent the solar panel technique on the satellite itself, maybe having a little bit of a spiraling motion. It just looks a little bit better, but it's okay to leave the stickers off of all these parts if you wanted to. So overall, this set is okay. I I'm now, I wasn't really a big fan of it at first because it was a little tight to fit in all the figures and the satellite. I do understand now how the instructions show how to fit the satellite in here compared to when I earlier tried to fit this in. I'm still not sure about that black bracket piece if that's really necessary because you wouldn't use that for attaching the satellite onto it and it doesn't really attach to anything else in this set. If you had these going all the way up, I see that as the only purpose. But why is such a large piece there just to fill in the gap? There is a little bit of gap in there, in fact. So it may not need to be such a large piece. You could have even used another smaller piece and probably done the same job. As far as the figures, they are nice. They are good designs. I do like how we got two of them in here that can actually fit two of them in the shuttle itself. And that they have a little bit of equipment to work with. No real cargo bay. I mean, you got a little bit of the space for the actual sa satellite, but not much of a cargo bay that's going to have, you know, any research lab or, or even a tool kit. You just have the one minifigure that can carry the tool, or at least you can fit it in separately. Overall, I'm not really sure about this one. I'm going to say it's kind of a meh, kind of a 3 out of 5 rating, because... Although it does look good and does have some nice build to it, and it is more simple and more affordable, I'm not sure if you could really look at this and say, that's worth $25. Maybe it's because of the larger pieces. Maybe it's because of the trans-clear um, stickers. By the way, the backing on these is trans-clear. I didn't mention that before, but it does make it a little bit more careful when you're fitting these on. I know some people are, are picky about like getting fingerprints behind there, um, so you do have to be a little careful with it. But it's not too bad of a shuttle if you can't get the spaceport one. This is not a bad alternative as far as a model. Just maybe not get it at the full price. So thank you for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to check out some other LEGO City reviews and more of the LEGO City Space reviews coming soon. We'll see you next time with more LEGO videos.